In this tutorial, we'll be looking at Timeline Advanced Features. Highlight three clips by holding down the control key on your keyboard. And three clips are now highlighted by selecting one and dragging down to the first video track and select insert those video files are now placed. We've just carried out some drag and drop editing. Highlight a video clip and move it to another location. We can locate it in any of the tracks that are on display. We can abut the, the clip. We can move a clip from one location to another or make a mess of it. Ha! The audio was a bit high so that's what I actually dragged. Let's move it just down, reduce it off the screen and bring it back to normal and there we have a line of video. Video can be linked or unlinked from the audio. Simply by right clicking on the, the video clip you can select unlink objects. We have now split the two apart. You note that I had clicked away from the two clips to take it off being highlighted. We now have one section highlighted which is the audio and we can move it to another location. We can move it around completely just as we could if we wanted to do the video file. We can bring the same audio back and place it in its previous location and we can highlight both clips and reverse the situation by selecting link objects and we've brought them back together again. Group and ungrouping video clips can be an essential part of video editing. We can bring an extra video down, place it anywhere, we can separate the audio from it, just as we've shown you just now, we can move it and we can highlight every single one of these clips and we can right click over the top of it and we can group the objects. Now whenever we want to do something all those clips will now act in unison. They are grouped. To ungroup them simply right click and select ungroup objects click somewhere else and now we have individual video clips again. The transition room has now been selected. Click on a transition and watch it play in the preview window. There are a large number to choose from. Let's now deal with how to apply a transition. By expanding the timeline, it is easier to see and to use a transition. Let's select one on the left hand side here and place it between two clips. This type of transition is called a cross type, where it bridges two video clips. You can expand one side of it or the other so that bridge becomes longer. The audio files do not merge, they abut each other. Adjust the duration of the clip simply by placing your cursor and moving once the arrows appear. Once you're happy with it, the job is done. Let's select another transition lots to choose from aren't there I can't find the one I'm looking for ah flocking okay there you go this is placed over and between two clips I'm now going to right click on it and switch to overlap transition 
This pushes it to the left hand side and means that the two audio sections are merged, as are the video. So when you play this clip, the audio of one video will play over the top of the audio of the second video. You can stretch out the transition just as you've done before and you can play through it by selecting movie mode in preview. Applying an overlap transition merges and shortens your video. We now have two types of transition the cross transition and the overlap transition. Smart Video Rendering Technology commonly known as SVRT. Smart Video Rendering Technology information can be found in the help files. Select the question mark, select SVRT rules. Not all video comply with SVRT rules. Some do, some don't. Let's now move on to having a look at a video file format that does comply, the MTS file format. Let's right click anywhere and select show SVRT track. We then go to the view and select SVRT information. We then place the format type we've got. It is a H264 AVC file format. The file size, or frame size I should say, is 1920 by 1080. We then check update SVRT info and we look at the SVRT timeline. You will note the coding and the colours given here and those that are applied along here. Note a video file that has been altered in some way will require additional rendering. So we've added a title. That area will be rendered because you're changing the video. We've added a transition and that part of the video will be changed. Where there is a merge taking place, rendering is required at those points where a change has been made. SVRT is a very useful tool to have when you are video editing. It cuts down the rendering times of your project. Match up your project to what you want to produce. In this case we're matching up with the profile for an AVC HD file and we're choosing 1920 by 1080. We're activating SVRT. Another thing we are going to look at is the preferences setting. So you click the preferences to bring up your preferences and we're going to check the hardware acceleration that we've made the right options and check those that we've got on the produce section that we've got SVRT active there. It is optional whether you want to activate this particular one. It is one of those choices that pops up a warning. Here we've checked it and then click OK. Now you're ready to use SVRT and produce your video. In this tutorial we have used grouping, unlinking, video and audio and we have used transitions. Now it's your turn to have fun with your project.